Millions of people with allergies, an EpiPen can really be a lifesaver. It is a simple device that suddenly became a lot more expensive, even for people with insurance. Dr. Malika Marshall tonight takes a closer look at why the price of something so critical has gone up so much. Every bite Dylan Frazier takes needs to be watched closely. The nine-year-old has severe food allergies. If we didn't have an EpiPen with us and he had a reaction, it, it could be deathly for him. Kristen Frazier of Duxbury has a strategic plan to make sure an EpiPen is always near Dylan. It's backpack, classroom, the cafeteria. I carry one. My husband carries one. We have one in our sports bags. EpiPens are an injectable form of epinephrine, which can quickly reverse an allergic reaction. They're an absolute must for allergy patients. How expensive have EpiPens become for you? It, it has gone up significantly over the past few years, I've noticed. It would be hard not to. An EpiPen twin pack has gone from around $60 to more than $400 over the past 10 years. It is a bigger issue across most medications in general now. Professor Todd Brown teaches at Northeastern School of Pharmacy. Pharmaceutical companies have really changed the way they price medications. Used to be related to the impact of the medication, and now it's really changed to essentially how much they can get for the medication. This is only happening in the United States. Those same EpiPens, which cost about 400 here, go for about $85 in France. It doesn't make any sense. Congressman Michael Capuano says there's no federal regulation on how high drug prices can go. We have prohibited the government from negotiating prices with drug producers uh, by law, which is a crazy thing to have done. Having this item is absolutely critical. Dr. Mark DiMatteo works in the emergency room at Beth Israel Deaconess Plymouth. He's concerned some families may be forced to cut back. These events can progress at a very rapid pace, sometimes as quickly as 20 minutes. Under those circumstances, having an EpiPen would be absolutely life-saving. Kristen knows she's lucky her insurance covers a majority of her costs, but her co-pays still aren't cheap and she worries about the future. I have a friend who had to pay $1,000 recently to have all the EpiPens um, she wanted. And, and pay she will, because the stakes are that high. Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News. Now, in a statement, the manufacturer of EpiPens tells us it has given free EpiPens to more than 60,000 schools, and it gives families that qualify financial help paying for the device. For more information on how to get that help, you can go to our website, cbsboston.com.